Hey guys, so today's session will be about profit and loss. To understand what does profit and loss mean. So let's make it less boring. Okay, so let's understand this concept with the help of a story. So here our friend Oliver is here to help us out with that. So let's understand the concept of profit and loss with the help of a story of, of Oliver. Yes, so before getting into what exactly is profit and loss, let me ask you, what do you understand by the word profit and loss? Pause the video and think for yourself, like where did you hear the word profit and where did you hear the word loss? And what exactly do you mean by it? If you're not clear about it, wait till the end of the video to get a clear concept of what a profit and loss is. So let's get started and I hope all of you are really excited to learn this topic. So now let's start off with the story. So Oliver once was watching football match on the television and he decides to learn football. He decides to become a great football player just as Messi and then plans to buy a jersey, shoes and a football for himself to kick start off his football practice. Now he was really confused on where to buy his foot for all this jersey, shoes and ball. So he goes through a sports shop where he finds all these things at one under one roof. So first he decides to buy a jersey similar to that of what Messi wears with the name of Messi and the number 10. And he buys this for 2000 rupees. Then he buys, buys this really beautiful sports shoes saying FCB. Okay. So and with the tag of 5000 rupees. With the cost, okay, the, the cost with which he's buying the shoes was 5000 rupees and the cost with which he bought the jersey was 2000 rupees. Now he was wondering what else should I buy? And then he thought that football is really incomplete with the football, right? So then he decides to buy a football. Isn't all these three really super cool guys? Yeah. So next, he buys this football for Rs. 1500 each. Right? So he bought he buys a jersey for Rs. 2000 rupees. He buys the shoes for Rs. 5000 rupees and a ball for Rs. 1500 rupees. So all these three uh, these three prizes come under cost price. Right? Remember this word cost price. Yeah. So next day when he starts wearing and goes into the field, the foot, the the, uh, the shirt and the footwear, that, that is the shoes, were not fitting him. It was really sad. He was all he was real. Oliver was really sad because these thing was not fitting him. So now he's like, what am I supposed to do with this? Because he has actually spent a lot of money on that. Then an amazing idea strikes his mind. He thinks that he 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 felt that he should put this on a flash sale. He needs to sell this because he has only tried it on once right so what he does is he puts the jersey and the shoes for sale he sells the jersey at the cost of 2500 and the shoes at the cost of 3500 so this two cost price uh, these two prices here are nothing but the selling price of the goods that is the jersey and the shoes now let's look into one one each one case each in the case of jersey, the cost price, that is the price with which he bought the commodity or the goods, for in this case it's the jersey, for, is for 2000 rupees. And the selling price, that is the cost in which he has sold the goods, is 2500 rupees. Of course, you can see that he has made a profit, he has earned 500 rupees more. So, how did you get into that conclusion? If you see clearly, you can see, you can see that the selling price was greater than the cost price so guys we can say that whenever the selling price is greater than the cost price then we we can say that we have got profit so in this case oliver has also got a profit right and what is the total profit that he has got it will be selling price minus the cost price now moving on to the next one that is the shoes the cost price of the shoes was 5000 rupees but he has sold the shoes for 3500 here you can see that the cost price is greater than the selling price or we can say that selling price is less than the cost price so whenever the selling price is less than the cost price we can say that we have gone through a loss so in similar way oliver has got a loss here and what is the total loss that he has got it will be cost price minus the selling price because here in this case cost price is greater clear so to summarize the loss and profit here we can say that for profit 
the selling price should be greater than the cost price and to know the total profit that you have got selling price minus cost price will give you the total number total amount of profit similarly looking for loss the selling price should be really less than the cost price and then the loss is equals to the total loss that we have incurred is cost price minus the selling price that is all guys that is all you have to remember it's all with uh, selling price and the cost price for suppose selling price is equal to the cost price then there is no loss there is no profit right so only if there's a variation in the selling and the selling price and the cost price is when we can say a, we have a profit or loss depending upon which one is greater that is all for today's video guys thank you so much for watching and subscribe to vedantu channel for further more videos thank you see you in the next video